Good morning YouTube. I'm Colin, Crystal Clean External Cleaning Limited. Um, there's a few videos out there. Um, recently started making videos on YouTube. Uh, I offer all external cleaning, um, literally everything from roof to floor. If you join me today in the back of my van, um, I've recently bought a new pressure washer which is van mounted. Possibly just see it there. I've had a van mounted system before, but it wasn't it wasn't built as a van mounted system. Um, what I'm doing today is fitting a ball valve into my water tank. So when I'm running off a customer's mains or even off a um, standpipe in the road, I can whilst the pressure washer is running and I'm working away, I can have the the, the tank in the van constantly filling um, and what the ball valve will do will obviously once the water tank reach the water limit for the ball valve it will cut off automatically so you're not um, you're not having any, any overflowing issues or anything like that so if I just spin you around there we go right ball valve is there cost me all of about i think it was about six pounds 25 from screw fix you've got to buy them in two separate parts because they sell the valve themselves with the arm and then the ball is separate that's going to be going into this tank you can see i've marked there where it's going to go and now i'm just about to uh to make the hole to fit the ball valve so no going back now Fairly straightforward, a little bit of noise. Simple as that. Now, I have still got water in the van in the tank at the moment um, I find it easier having water in the tank to um, catch any bits and then just completely drain the tank um, most of the bits should flow out any bits which are left over you can suck out with a hoover um, obviously providing it's a wet and dry vac it will suck them out no problem and just give it a quick flush through uh, could do with finding somewhere to mount this camera, couldn't I? Right, bear with. It's not going to go there. Right, bear with me. Right, so once the hole is drilled, you're going to be left with a little bit of a burr just around the edge. Obviously, you want that completely flush. So, uh, I'll get rid of the burr, the burr just with a sharp knife. Just run it round. Just run it round the edge inside and out this is where i drop my phone in the tank just run it around inside and out uh, just get a nice clean finish right weapon of choice a pair of scissors you literally just want to run it around just clean up that edge That's nice and smooth there. And again, there. It's nice and flush now, so you're going to get a nice flush fitment when you come to clamp this up. And the same on the inside. And we're done. Nice and clean. So, ball valve, I tested this out on the outside tap before I fitted it just to make sure it had a decent flow, there was no leaks, etc. There was a leak coming from there, so what I've done is just wrapped, took it off, a little bit of PTFE around it, screwed it back on as tight as I can. Obviously, don't over tighten it. These are brass, so they will break and strip the threads. A little bit of PTFE on the inlet. Ball's been fitted, screwed on as far as it will go, and 
the nut tightened up so we're not going to get any issues with that coming off right bear with and it's as simple as straight into the tank straight into there and then that nut straight on there so i'll get that done now back with me again right nut is on i'm just going to get a spanner and nip that up now obviously you want to make sure that the ball valve is completely straight as it's coming out so just straighten it up slightly like so and nip the nut up there right that's tightened up as much as it will go obviously you, again this nut is only plastic this is brass the brass not so much you go into damage when you've got a plastic nut but you are going to run the risk if you do try and over tighten it you are going to run the risk of um cracking or stripping the thread on this plastic nut because they're not the strongest in the world i think you can get brass ones but even if you do end up with a, a brass nut then you've still got to be careful because if you do over tighten it not only are you going to distort the plastic on the tank very slightly i mean it will take some strength to do that because i mean they are very very thick the walls on these tanks but you could still run the risk of either a cracking the brass on the inlet or if you do have a brass nut cracking the the uh the brass nut or stripping the threads next will be oh, um Hose pipe fittings, uh, which I'm not in that one. There we go. Uh, quick pump for David Kemp vision. Always use that on my water for window cleaning and leaves absolute fantastic shine on the windows once they've been done. I started using it about six months ago. Um, didn't really get on with it only used it for a few weeks started using it again the past couple of months and i had quite a few messages off customers saying have i done something different have i changed the way i'm cleaning because the windows are looking a lot more cleaner and a lot shinier so massive shout out to dave kemp's vision so you've got water you've got your garden tap fitting this is three quarter fitment um so you do need the insert depending obviously which size of garden tap fitting you buy um i bought these off amazon i think i got six of them for i think it was about four pounds something like that always carry spares because especially if you were if you're not using van mounted to be fair even if you are using van mounted when you turn up at a customer's house if they've got an outside tap i found that quite a few times they either haven't had these or they've had the metal fitting on the outside tap where um, they've got the hose connector just pushed over it <clears throat> so i always make sure that i carry plenty of these just in case a they break or b you don't want to be turning up at a customer's house them not having more on an outside tap and you not being able to use water so that will go on straight there again there is a sliver of ptfe around there just for a bit of extra sealing whip that up nice and tight now remember you've got to nip the black one up but not only the black you've also got to because the black is a reducer so you've got the yellow one to nip up as well make sure it's nice and tight and there we go job done so now you're plugging your hose pipe into there straight out to the customer's tap and then that is going to constantly fill up with water i mean mine's fallen off now but once the as the water level is rising the ball is going to rise with the flow of with the uh, level of water and as soon as it reaches that limit that cutoff point which on this is there then it's going to stop letting water into the tank therefore you're not going to end up with your tank overflowing right so i've emptied the tank slightly now it's all fitted and i've got it onto fill just to make sure that it is working and that it does actually cut off the flow of water which it should 
I've bent the bar ever so slightly just so I can get that little bit more fill of water. Um, by bending the bar up, I'm probably going to get another 50 to 100 litres of water. Um, so obviously that's something else which you could do. So you've got water in from outside the tap. See the water is flooding in there. And then as soon as it reaches its level, so let's just pretend that, let's pull the bar up slightly like it's reaching level. And there we go, no more water, no leaks, level is where it should be. You can clearly see in here that there's nothing else coming out. Um, so you're pressure washing away now, your water's dropping down, water back on. Um, simple as that, it stops any, because if you can imagine, let's shut this off for a minute. If you can imagine, if you didn't have a float fitted, um, you're pressure washing away, your tank is constantly being filled. Um, I know obviously with pressure washing you're going to be using a lot more water than what's coming in. But if you've stopped for a couple of minutes or changing your lamps on your pressure washer, so on and so forth, it's still filling and there's a good chance it could overflow. So I think that's a good thing. I think it's a must, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Jobs are done.